Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, please subscribe and tap that bell for more videos. Build your life, do it yourself. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to reuse an old candle. Um, this candle has quite a lot of wax left in it, but it's been tunneling really bad, as you can see, and I can barely light it anymore. Um... So I wanted to try and melt it down so I can make new candles. Okay, so I have my old candle. I have some tins so that I can make new candles. I have my wicks. I have my glue gun. I have this metal tin for pouring, and then I have just a regular stove pot. Okay, so my pot is a little more than halfway full with water. I'm going to go ahead and put my metal pitcher into the pot and make kind of like a double broiler. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my candle inside the pitcher. I'm going to heat the water up into about a simmer or a, very, or a low boil um, to get it to melt. I just want it to melt enough so I can pop the wax out of there at this point. Okay, so now while I'm waiting on the wax to melt, I'm going to get my candle holders ready. I'm going to go ahead and take some of my hot glue for my glue gun and I'm going to glue these wicks to the bottom of the containers. Just put a little glue on there and just put it right in the center. Okay, so now that I have the wick in the bottom, I'm going to wrap both my wicks around um, a pencil to help keep it in the middle when I pour the wax in. It's a little bit tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with both of my wicks. Okay, and that's how they look when they're all finished. Okay, so now my candle has been sitting in here for probably about 10-15 minutes um, trying to let it melt. So I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I can get the candle to slide out of the glass container yet. Um, I'm trying it with my fork and it looks like it is starting to slide out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start trying to get the candle or the wax out of the glass container. Carefully take your pitcher out of the pot of water. And then I have a bowl that I'm going to be scooping the wax out into. Um, I'm just scooping it out this way, just using my fork to slide it out. And you have to be careful because the container could slide out. Um, another way you could do is um, if you want to maybe use tongs or something to try and pull it out of the container. Maybe a little bit easier. So I went ahead and got the whole chunk of wax out. I'm going to remove the glass container from the middle pitcher. And I'm going to take the big hunk of wax and I'm putting it back into the pitcher by itself. And then it's going back in the pot so that the wax can melt down. So I'm going to keep it on there about the same temperature um, until the wax melts all the way down. And there's that. Okay, so now my wax has melted all the way down. So I'm going to go ahead and fish my wick out of here so I can use the reuse this wax. Got that out, and I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side in this bowl. Okay, so now I brought my candle tins back, and I let my wax cool for a few minutes before doing this. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pour some wax in each of the tins. Not all the way to the top, enough room for the wick. There's not quite enough left for the other one, but just enough to make a small candle. So I went ahead and poured all that in there. Okay, so I have let my new candle sit out and cool and dry for several hours. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pencils so that I can trim the wicks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and trim them with my regular scissors. Um, you're actually supposed to trim the wicks to a quarter inch and I trimmed them a little bit too long. I was thinking it was three quarter inch, but you're supposed to do it um, a quarter inch wicks. Okay, so now I have taken my old candle that I love the smell of, but it just really wasn't functional anymore. Um, and I melted it down and I made two new usable candles. Um, let me get... Let me know what you guys think about this below. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this type of content. Check out all my links below, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.